Recording. All right. All right. Hello, I'm John. Um, I also go by Blue. Uh, that's B L U U. And I've been producing hip hop, making beats for about the last eight years, um, ever since high school, which is, or uh, sorry, junior high, which is as long as Max has known me. Um, and, you know, it's taken a lot of practice. Uh, Max can attest that, you know, he and I started kicking raps. Yeah, that's right, he rapped too back then, very briefly, and uh, wasn't so great. But, you know what, since then, got a lot better and, uh, you know, making uh, decent stuff now. Uh, and, you know, I'm very excited to be part of really what's a, an important movement, and that's uh, the Northwest uh, music scene. Um, the hip hop coming out of the Northwest is uh, really important because it's pushing um, the envelope of the genre in new directions that just wasn't possible in all the other regions that have been making hip hop across the United States. Um, so I'll talk about how it kind of came to be, uh, at least from the way I saw it, because um, it wasn't a big deal eight years ago, but now Seattle, I would say, is on the map. And then um, why it matters. So I started listening to hip hop when uh, the internet actually had kind of solidified as you know, people are using it constantly in, in their everyday communications and sure enough um, the hip-hop community uh, got on there and was constantly discussing discovering new artists that you wouldn't have heard otherwise um, so I'd hear all this discussion about oh who's this guy uh, Aesop Rock from New York uh, I'll have to check that out good music um, stuff that you wouldn't hear normally um, associated with East Coast or West Coast or stuff that you hear on the radio and then you know, oh who's this Hieroglyphics. I, I didn't know the West Coast had a scene, you know, where pushing out this kind of music. So, I mean, it was great to discover all these new artists, but a part of me felt that something was left out. I was reading through all this um, discussion, you know, who has better flows, uh, West Coast, East Coast rappers, who has better beats, who has the, the rawest lyrics. No, nowhere in there do they say Northwest. Um, Seattle hip hop really just doesn't matter. Um, until Let's see, when I was in high school, my senior year of high school, um, the Seattle Weekly put out an issue of their top local music for the year. And they named the Blue Scholars, uh, a local Seattle hip hop group, um, as having the best album of the year. And that surprised me for two reasons. Because, first of all, hip hop doesn't get a lot of recognition in um, media. Uh, I mean, rock is definitely taking it as more kind of a legitimate form of music. Hip hop hasn't really gained that kind of respect yet, in my opinion. Um, and also, the fact that this was for Seattle. I didn't even know Seattle put out hip hop. Um, back in 92, I think it was, there was sort of mix, mix a lot, right? Um, but that was about it for Seattle's hip hop history. Until, um, yeah, just the, four years ago, Blue Scholars put out um, Record of the Year, and I immediately listened to it. And sure enough, it was different enough to make me realize, yeah, this is, this is exactly what Seattle should be doing, um, what the Northwest should be doing, um, creating uh, politically motivated, uh, youth empowering, socially conscious music. Uh, and that's, I mean, the, the key difference uh, between Seattle hip hop and um, these other regions is that Seattle artists saw that, yeah, there's a market and there are people that are filling West Coast, East Coast, Dirty South hip hop. I mean, all these regions. How are we going to break into this when we got our talent? We've got to do it differently. And that's what they do. That's purely it. They don't imitate what you hear on the radio. They don't imitate what you hear from other regions. And um, I'd say you get a traditional hip hop sound, but um, you're not going to find this uh, social awareness uh, anywhere else. Um, and you find that in artists like Blue Scholars, like I mentioned, um, people who have been working with Macklemore. So, uh, I mean, he's very much uh, you know, doing stuff that does not sound at all like to what you hear on the radio. Um, Gray Skull. Um, Old Dominion, these are, these are people who are taking even battle rapping into new directions, uh, just making it sound different. And, you know, maybe the best thing about them putting out this music that really expresses themselves rather than conforms to some other uh, way that music should be done, the, maybe the most important thing is that it uh, inspires lots of other artists. Uh, for example, Blue Scholars, I'll keep mentioning them because I think that, you know, they're Seattle's biggest um, hip hop group at this point. Um, and they uh, and they have changed the way that I make music. They've changed um, the way that a couple of my friends are making music and people that I'm working with. Um, so for all these people who 
you know, are really ins uh, inspiring. Sure enough, we get a lot of inspired people who say, yeah, I don't want to have to make music like the radio tells me to or whoever tells me to. I want to make, I want to express myself and be honest, honest expression. So uh, let me talk a little bit about what I worked on. Um, like I said, the Blue Scholars really inspired me. Now, before that, when I was making music, um, just strictly on uh, my computer, I just picked up a program one day that said, you know what, this uh, sample right here, this old classical song I heard, this would make a great hip hop beat. That's how I got started, just working with beats on my computer. And um, kind of working through that and realizing, you know, I don't want to uh, have to pretend that I'm something I'm not. For example, um, a lot of rap to hear people saying, you know, how much money they have or, uh, uh, you know, what weapons they have, what drugs they deal. And, you know, that, that's not a lifestyle I don't think that they even represent. Um, and certainly not me. So, you know, I'm just going to do honest expression. And uh, Max knows that uh, I put out a, a CD in high school the senior project, um, where honestly, I, I was just as honest as possible saying stuff that I wanted to say. Um, you know, whether it's good or not, you know, I mean, I, I've been pretty good with the beats, vocally, maybe not so much, and that's why I wish um, some of the other guys I was working with uh, today were here, because um, lately I've got involved with some artists that you haven't heard about, but um, they're up and coming, watch out for them. Uh, a group by the name of Unlimited Supply, and a, the purest entertainer I've ever met, his name is Dyslexic. Um, these are two artists that I've been working with, and they both said to me, you know, we're really good on the, you know, we've been writing a lot, we're really good with these, uh, with vocals and rapping, but we don't have a lot of time for beats, or we just can't figure out how to make all that stuff. And I say, really, uh, I'm not too great on vocals, but <laughs> I'm, you know, getting there with beats. And so that relationship has worked out very well. So, um, so let me show you some stuff that I've come up with. Uh, for example, um, just this beat that I, I pulled together from a bunch of samples, um, put together on my computer. Uh, didn't really use any live instruments. I'm just uh, kind of sampling old records, obscure sounds, and then turning them into something new. Dyslexic. I want to share a freestyle with you because this guy is like the most excellent freestyle. So I haven't produced this beat or anything, but um, it's a really entertaining man. Arrival, the spinal tap, of course. Every time I stop the force of a horse, I can't really stop because the juggernaut is always running through. Overcast when I laugh, God loves ugly, and that's why I'm sitting here seeming funny to you suckers. It's been a while, but you know, got a do do from the truckers, and every time I hear. Um, and he and I currently have one track out um, on his MySpace um, called Gangsta Gangsta. Uh, so this is like the first like most, I'd say, professional uh, combo I've done. But, you know, I, I'm working with him to make a whole album. So, uh, you know, the only direction to go from here is up. Hey yo, pussy cat to mailman, gangsta gangsta, the new hottest issue out on the street. Hey, gangsta gangsta, get this week's hot new issue. Yeah, how much is it? A quarter. Oh, thank you. While well, I continue selling my paper route, standing on the corner of my block, my voice I shout. Oh, gangsta gangsta, read all about it. Open up my mouth, flame shoot that as I shout it. Standing on the corner, busting my freestyles, convincing rich white babes that I'm worth a while. My style, while I made. All right, so um, so yeah, I've been working with some artists. You may not have heard of them yet. They're not on the level of Blue Scholars or anything, but I think the great thing is that Blue Scholars have changed um, the way that we realize, yeah, we can do this. We can do hip hop in new ways 
um, using honest expression. So watch out for that. Thank you, John.